everybody. Get to call up you with another little commentary because we want you to check this out. So there's a Kickstarter going on right now for this game right here. Go for tomorrow. Which is currently at a funding goal of a hundred dollars and they are at forty six dollars. And the reason why it's so low is because the guy here, Ed Wiani is actually just trying to raise funds to help put the game on Steam. And any additional type of funds after the campaign is funded, if it does, there is a, still quite a few days left. So there's plenty of time for it to go. And right now, this is the story of Ghost of Tomorrow. The story is, it is the day of August 23rd of 2019 and you arrive at your apartment. Suddenly, strange events that possess a paranormal nature begin to occur. These paranormal events seem to transcend the boundaries of both space and time as these events may give you a glimpse of what is yet to happen in the future. Experience these paranormal events and see what tomorrow holds. So, check it out I like the name of it and we'll learn more about it as we go in so let's start up the game all right controls I gotta get used to this all right it looks kind of easy enough for controls so okay Back at my apartment. I'm gonna check my phone before I go to sleep. All right. All right. See you. You're interested. Okay. I feel like I've seen this house before on some game, but maybe not. Maybe it's something completely different. It looks different, but at the same time, the way it just started looks uh, different. So, we're actually on the 24th instead of the 23rd, I guess. So, uh, I don't know if that's just a missed typo or what. So, oh, what's this here? We got some beautiful knives. Look at the details. I mean, nice. I guess we're just um, walking around, I guess. Feel the game, feel nice, pretty crisp. That's pretty good. Nice movement of the actual uh, stuff going on. And oh, I guess my flashlight is automatically going to turn on here. Can we just turn on the light right here? Okay, nope. I guess we got a broken dim light bulb. I knew I had to pick up something from work, after work, whatever, before work. Uh, at least we got our toilet paper, so we got that at least, we got a nice little bath, it looks like, yeah, just a, just a crib, yeah, alright, what the shit that bullshit, just my master bedroom, yeah, this is my master bedroom where, uh, I don't know if the magic happens or not, so, with this guy, so, we'll turn off this damn flashlight, so, uh, let's see here, oh, yeah, nice, nice, very cool, very cool, alright, I'm looking for my phone, I guess, I don't know why I need to check my phone, but I always do, hmm, look at it, this is, this is weird, apparently we just lost time, right, I forgot to mention that this is like a time travel game, so, interesting, so it's focusing on the loss of time, and Okay, we got a text from my mom. All right, love you, mom. Um, okay, I don't know who really does that, but okay. Anyway, Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. Uh, 
why does it sound like the doorbell is coming from the damn bathroom and not the front door? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I guess they got tired of waiting then. Gow, it's me, Martha, Amanda's mother. Do you know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone call for two days. Please, if you know anything, call me. Oh, boy. So I guess I'm a friend of Amanda? Um. Interested. Why does it feel like it just got dark all of a sudden? Did I have this door shut? Oh, my bad. I like shutting the door in my face. Apparently, what's this door here? Hello? Nope. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here. Nothing. Okay. I'm assuming we gotta investigate this weird ass noise that just randomly just stopped. So, we're either on Monday or Sunday, and it's 11, 11.30ish. Interesting. Oh boy, better check the phone. That can't be good. Uh, nope, I guess no more using the phone then. Okay. We must be missing something here. Maybe the front door again. Same note or a new note? Same note. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this almost feel like I've seen this way out before, but it's just a little bit different. But that's alright. I'm not really too familiar with game ways out way out but the way it is it looks like he cut off some of the, the rooms or something um, okay so am I looking for like another type of phone to like get a hold of this mom or like what nope See if we can figure this out then, guys. Okay. Oh, how did we not see this? Missing person, Amanda Graham. Last seen outside Harvey University on August 23rd, wearing a white tank top and jean shorts. Brown eyes, dark hair. She is 5'7", 120 pounds, at the age of 24. Yeah. I don't know. And I just heard crying.
Missing student body found. Stabbed by room. Wait a minute, what? Am I the roommate? Uh, turned himself in. Amanda Graham, a 24-year-old master's degree student who was missing since August 23rd, was found stabbed and killed in her apartment. Oh, and apparently my flashlight now wants to come on. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay. False alarm, people. Uh, Amanda Graham's roommate, 25-year-old Gail Rogers, was arrested after turning himself in and confessing to hiding the body. Amanda was majoring in film while living in a two-bedroom shared apartment with Rogers, who was also majoring in film near Harvey University campus, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Uh, I always knew there was something weird about Gal. Something told me he was involved in her disappearance. Now my baby is gone. I should have done something to avoid this. Mr. Rogers' family member did not provide information of him. Rogers was currently working on a computer repair shop. His co-worker described him as a really smart person, but also added he was bizarre too. Not much of a talker. Police found no previous convictions in Rogers' record. Rogers was charged with murder and hiding a would hide it would murder and hide in the corpse and will face court soon. Oh really? Well uh oh uh oh I just got locked in didn't I? Oh no, I'm trapped people. And the light is still broken, but the light flashing. What is going on here? Oh no Was that Amanda's dead body? If so, uh, we didn't really quite see it, and my, I'm so sorry my phone is on, not on mute, but a bad person I am, but, oh, hello. We see you in that hallway. Come give me a hug. You want to give me a hug? No. Oh, hello. You want to give me a hug now? No? Okay. Well, shit. No, still don't want to go in there. Oh, wait. Yes, we are. I don't think this was supposed to happen. I don't know if I'm stuck. itself for whatever that little bug was I apologize so let's continue on with the demo okay no fate uh, okay okay yeah sure we're going here in loving memory of a oh god 1995 okay okay yep yeah. 
Amanda! Why do you do it? Oh, I thought that was gonna be scary. Wait, was that blood? Oh, it is. Because it's the door I've been through, I think. <laughs> uh oh. Hello? Oh, what's this? Gail Rogers sentenced to 20 years in prison. Uh oh. Pleaded guilty to the murder. Yeah. Do you guys want to read that? Be my guess. any more time. Okay, so one of these doors have to be it. Okay, I guess there was that door maybe? I'm not sure. Go on this one. Uh oh. So all these doors. Wait. All these doors? Okay, that one's locked, that one's locked, that one's locked, that one's locked. Locked, locked. Interesting. Reading down my neck a little bit too much there, buddy. I truck you when you were behind me. Anyway, oh look, the phone. Time swift theory. Yes. If you guys are not familiar with that type of theory where time loses or days can get lost, uh, it's just something. <laughs> Get out of there. Stop the madness. Oh boy. We are trying. Jesus. We get the point. Finally there. There's nobody down here. Okay. Nice quiet hallway. It's open. Of the no fate door. what it said at that door when it shot. I am back at home. Was it just a nightmare? I'm sorry, was it all just a nightmare? Watching some sort of soccer game. Okay, oh god. The frame rate is not like this area.
but, uh, did I just, like, get a whole new apartment? Interesting. That's not good. That's not good. Why is there rooms of mine locked? Oh, God. Sorry, people. Yeah. <laughs> Let that breathing man again. I'm um I'm sorry. Okay. Not weird. Okay. Uh oh, it was my TV. real footage of a soccer game too. Interesting. Okay. Oh. What it would be? What the hell just happened? See here, the doctor had told me that my bride and my socks are therapeutic and it might help with the trauma. How much can I handle? Hmm. Okay, so there's no tax. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure. After losing my daughter to a murderer, which itself is a horrible tragedy, my husband has been very absent. Our daughter's death has been devastating to him and understandably so. I myself feel devastated. However, I try to move forward in life with him and my son, Dylan. Of course, the death of her sister has also... Wait. Okay. The, of course, the death of her sister has also affected Dylan gravely. Her sister? You mean his sister? I'm confused now. Alright, anyway. Uh, Dylan gravely, especially for a young 18-year-old boy, but at least I still feel he is around me. Or, she's around me? Oh, whatever. Unlike my husband, he tries his hardest to still give emotional support to his, his, this family. Still, my son's behavior has also changed. I qu quite don't know how to put it, but something about him seems very different. Well, I don't know if your son is a boy or a girl at this point in time. I'm sorry. So maybe it's maybe going through a change. Of what he he she wants to be. Um, just saying, you might want to look that into more further detail. So nice place though. I wish we got your toilet paper. Are you all good? You can wipe that ass real clean. You don't have to worry about uh, using that uh, sock that you left in your kitchen drawer. Just for backup. Oh, okay. Another note. Okay. Uh, more note. Uh, I feared my husband could be back to alcohol addiction aside from being absent in our family's life. Now he seems to be drowning his sorrows with alcohol like he once used to. This once old habit which he had overcome a long time ago, a few years after our marriage now has creeped in again. His family always had a history of depression, alcohol addiction, and other mental illnesses. I am really worried for him. I don't know what to do. He barely talks to me, and when we do, it's just arguing. We argue about what happened to Amanda. He gets mad at me because he thinks I'm insane. Can you believe that shit? He doesn't believe me when I say it. When I say something about our daughter's murder wasn't right, I know that somehow she knew she was in trouble. We could have done something to stop it. 
that's right, you could have. Now what was that? Sounded like something open. Was another door opening? Yes, it did. <laughs> Interesting. Was, the was that the husband or the son? Let's see here. <clears throat> oh boy. So today I found out my son is also doing drugs. I think that Gale monster not only killed our daughter but killed each one of us. Amanda Death has left us turmoil in this family and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has a lot of his father in him. I tried talking about it with him but he just won't. How much more can I handle? I myself have been depressed ever since Amanda died, but I am not one to channel my depression into substance abuse. That's just not the way I was taught to confront things in life in my house. I try to keep my faith in God and I find some peace within Him. Mm -hmm. Well, I see he's doing such a great job here in this household. Uh, anyway, I am the only one here trying to keep this family together from breaking apart. Right, you, not your God. Just saying. Okay, moving on. Anyway, but I guess if you find strength and something higher power than you, then I will give you that, I guess, but, yeah, anyway, moving on. There's some interesting movies in here, anyway, this must be the boys' room, I guess, I don't know. Oh, hello, you see something, oh, nope, I guess you do okay, well, thank you, thank you for opening the door, yes, come again, alright, what's in here? Nice photos. Very well with photos. And we got another note, people. Man, always note. Not enough paranormal shit going on to make this really a scary ass game. Alright, anyway, I sometimes go to Amanda's room and try to find some comfort and be in her room. Remind me of her. I almost feel like she's around me. A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I hope so hear mysterious footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her. Her spirit is falling. Or is it? This over here. Is this anybody? No. Okay. Well, apparently we wanted to call somebody named James, I believe. And, uh, yeah. I don't know how that worked out. Oh, this the last door was open? Okay, well, fuck you then. That's the bedroom. Oh, what's this? <coughs> I guess your husband. Uh-huh. So, let's see here. I spoke to my husband about the day I saw him in, and of course he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He is afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. We've been discussing a divorce. He says being around the house makes him more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself, and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle any of this? My boy Dylan is also barely around. His drug addiction has taken a toll on him. I'm sorry. What was that? What a big-ass fucking TV. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I guess it's Walk the Ring. You definitely have enough room to get swallowed whole by her face, you know. Fuck you, rings! Okay, there we go. That's about it. Oh, I'm sorry. Gotta find a way to get out. Okay, so hopefully I didn't just miss anything from that weird blackout. Um, oh, what's this? A key. A key to. Uh, no, I'm not even. Uh oh. Red equals death. Interdimensional ghost theory. Yes. It is very strange where people have lost sense of time that they can't even remember. So, no 
Nope, okay. Something in this bedroom needs to be done then. Another key. So I can like grab onto it. So how many keys do you need? Jesus. One for the bathroom, one for the damn hallway. Well that makes sense because you wanna I guess walk that, but <laughs> How much longer, how much longer, how much longer. Yeah, I'm definitely losing my mind. Losing my mind, we would ever stop, we would ever stop, we would ever stop. Stop the madness, stop the madness, stop the madness. Oh boy, here we go, going crazy, we would ever stop, blah, blah, blah. Do I want to keep picking these things up? There's nothing different about them, is there? Stop the madness. No. Oh, here we go. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, uh-huh. Stop the madness, uh-huh. I can't, okay. Well, whatever, stop. Oh, look, another key. Oh, monster keeps insisting I should write down my thoughts because it ha Okay, well, yeah. Another key, people. I just want want you to be aware of this now. So that makes three keys already. Hmm. So it's another type of key game, I guess. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. But I love the environment. Oh, look, it's another. Excuse me. I'm trying to read here. And he just appeared. Is that the father of the murdered victim? Father of murdered roommate commits suicide. Oh no! Oh god! Um... Amanda, it's me, Amy, your friend. Can you read my text? Um, it's from even Amanda, I guess. Yeah. Yes, what's wrong? I can't believe it. It's been two years. I never thought I would speak to you again. Not after... After what? After you died. To be continued. 